people of God, I just want to talk to you a change. The Bible tells me, Paul tells me, to be made new in the attitude of your minds. Attitude. Change to be taken place in the attitude. Change to be taken place in the mind. That means change starts from me, in me, through me. Hallelujah. Seminars I have attended when I was a regional manager. There are so many power camps attended because when you're in the marketing line, when you're in the sales line, what they try to do is they change your attitude. Hallelujah. What they work on is all your mind. Nothing is outside. Everything is inside. I tell you, a person send, a, 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 a man will send two people into the world where there is no one wearing a shoe. There's no one wearing a sandal. He called, that manager called two people, two sales guys you call, hey, I'm sending you to the country to get me the uh, a feedback on how we can sell our shoes. And these two guys went into that land. I'll tell you what the land later. The two guys went into the land and one guy came back and said, hey, manager, it's impossible for us to sell anything, any shoe because no one is wearing shoe. Kept that person and said, he called the other person, hey, what's your feedback? He said, man, I'm so excited because there's nobody wearing a show. There's no competition for us. We can sell everything there. This is what God expects from you. That's a change I'm talking this morning. That's a change I'm expecting this morning. How you're seeing your life, how, with what lens you're seeing life, with what attitude you're seeing, with what mindset you're seeing. It's all about what I'm talking is about her shoes in Africa. In 1900, that shoe is batter shoe all over the world today. And one guy said, the same thing uh, is in uh, uh, numbers. Uh, when Moses sent 12 tribes, 10 people said, no, 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 we cannot win that land. There's all giants there. There's all big, big people there. No, we cannot conquer the land. But Joshua and Caleb said, hey, we will win the land because the God of Israel is with us. Hallelujah. He's not by my not by but by my spirit, saith the Lord. And this is the spirit I have today in Jesus' name. With all the humility. Don't discard that word. Humility. Everything works with humility. That doesn't mean that we love ourselves. That doesn't mean that people don't respect. Hey, no, 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 no. Where the people don't understand, I know who I am. Amen. Hallelujah. Because this is what God this is what the change I'm talking this morning. Hallelujah. It's Bible says, it's your attitude. That's what the Bible says, Romans 12, 2. The, the word of God will renew your mind. Hallelujah. The word of God will renew your mind. When the mind is renewed, your life is renewed. Amen. Hallelujah. Your battle is not outside of you. Your battle is inside of you. When you win the battle inside of you, you win the battle outside of you. They went to the war and the whole arm was staying outside and every day that guy that uh, uh, you know giant Goliath is coming and uh, trashing uh, Israel uh, calling by all names uh, but uh, everybody was scared but there's one man with the spirit of God let me tell you, there's one man with the spirit of God. If you are a spirit of God man, if you are a spirit of God woman, if you are a spirit of God, you will move into the gap where people cannot move. Hallelujah. You move into the gap to see the presence of God. You move into the gap to see the anointing of God. You move into the gap because you know who you are. David knew who he is. He killed the lion. He killed the bear. Eh? He killed the, you know, all kinds of stuff. And he knows what is the power that is residing in him that is called anointing. Bible tells me the spirit of God is living in David. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on, church. The spirit of God is living in the life of David. When the spirit of God is living in you, you know who you are, you know what is a change in you, you know your destiny, you know your calling, you know your purpose, you know your plan. Everything will be revealed to you because the spirit of God is in you. The spirit of God is nothing but the God himself who brings the plans in the purpose of God. Amen. Hallelujah. This is what we are talking. People don't understand. We don't talk about the peripheral thing. We talk about the depth of the word of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. God has to adopt 
a system called change and he said no 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 word remains word doesn't help me let this word change into a form called Jesus so that through Jesus I can achieve what all I want can I hear one amen say I never heard this before amen hallelujah and through Jesus, the change of the word Jesus changed the world. Oh God, the change of the word Jesus changed the world. If you're, the same change of Jesus is in you, you will change the world too. Hallelujah. This is what I'm talking this morning. Glory be to God. 